I'm really glad that we expanded when we did because now there's all these kind of complicated alliances around us. In the beginning part of the game, a few videos ago, there was only like one or two countries we had to kind of worry about. Uh, you know, a lot of people hadn't gotten, gotten up their friendships just yet. But now it seems like if I go to war with any of my neighbors, I'm also going to have to go to war in a separate front against another neighbor, so it's kind of complicated. The only place I can really expand towards right now, at least easy wars, are the one province miners in the northern part of the Italian peninsula. But overall, our empire is looking pretty damn good so far. I mean, we vassalized Corsica, which is more land that we were able to take without uh, costing us much administrative power. And currently, we're doing a great job in terms of, like... Uh, how we're growing each month, 10, 9, 6, that's good. Because, I mean, it would be nice to get a little bit more in the military category, but I can't complain. With 10, 9, 6, that's, that's really great. Um, it's unfortunate because my king is probably going to die soon. He's 43 years old, so maybe in the next few years he'll probably fall. Um, but And my heir is not as good, but that's okay. 3, 2, 0. Well, actually, uh, administrative should be fine. It's just my Diplo power won't be as good, and I'm going to be suffering in military. I might need to even hire my first military uh, level 2 advisor. I might need to kick all these guys out and just do a level 2 military advisor to make up for the huge loss I'm going to see. Okay, so what happened? Uh, uh, completed the mission. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, very good. So we finished that mission. That took a long time. I probably shouldn't have taken that mission. I can increase my relationship with England, but I don't think I'm going to. Now, let me make sure I've got all these claims on everyone here. I don't have claims on everyone. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and claim uh, Sienna too. Again, it's it'll be it'll be interesting. If I you know it's not that bad. Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the papal state is strong. They took out Urbino, which is scary, and it's only a matter of time before more than likely they take out Tuscany. So. The Papal State's no one to just kind of push around. Mantua or Genoa? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Got to be careful with this war. I think Austria is, and everyone else is handling it for me, so uh, I'm not really worried about it. I, I do have my forts mothballed currently, but that's okay. Oh, I'm probably way over my force limit, aren't I? I am. That's why I'm losing so much money. Dang it. All right, we're going to have to delete these guys. I probably should have waited to incorporate them. Uh, I need to make sure I keep that in mind when I decide to annex Corsica to not buy anything out. Okay, so the claim on the claim on Luca is going to be finished soon. So, and they have no allies. So, what we're going to want to do is I'm wondering if military if if military access through Genoa is possible. It is. It is. As long as we have military access through Genoa, it's, it's not a big deal. And I'm wondering if I'm even going to be able to core this stuff. That's my fear right now, is if I might not be able to even core this stuff. Now, are they outside of the HRE? Damn, they just, they barely are. They barely are. That's that's too bad. Hmm, I'm wondering if this is how, how, how pissed off Austria is going to be. Actually, I don't know if I can join in. I don't think I can do this. I can't declare a war being with a war with the Emperor on the HRE. A separate war against in the HRE, or something like that. I know that's complicated and confusing, but... Uh, wait a second, they're at war with somebody else right now. Pisa and Milan. Uh-oh. So actually, they might not be doing so well as it is. Dang it. Milan's going to get some power here. I need to fabricate another claim on, on Milan. Yeah, they're still strong. I mean, they still have some strong allies. So they're very much still around. Okay, so there goes Austria. Oh, no, but that was only for Ulm. They're not finished with the other person. Okay, so we can choose an idea group. Don't tell me. I was going to say, there better not be any uprisings. I don't want to see any uprisings. Yeah, we, we certainly have got to go administrative ideas, for sure, and just get core creation cost. That's it. And again, influence ideas is a good idea, too, so that we can um, vassalize a lot easier. But I think administrative ideas, first off, right off the bat, is the most important. Certainly the most important. Core creation cost, that's all we want. How's my uh, Savoy ideas? I didn't talk about this. So, Fort Defense plus 20%, uh, yearly prestige, yearly papal influence. Ooh. So, it's actually might, might not be the best idea if I go down for Protestantism since my idea group doesn't really uh, help me out there. Hmm. Mercenary cost negative 20%. And since, I go down, since I'm going down administrative ideas, uh, I might be able to get a lot of mercs up. If I have enough money, I'll be able to have an entire huge army of mercs. Idea cost. A provincial trade power modifier and then yearly prestige. Okay. 
And then after, uh, like right right away, I get the diplomatic relations plus one, as well as better relationships over time, plus twenty five percent. Okay, so there it goes. There, I'm I'm done with the war. Now, how are they doing? Currently, nothing's happened. Um, if I get, oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna ask for military access. Let's move these guys in right away. Technically, if I if I get in there fast enough, I can take I can take this over. But they're going in over too. Dang it! Don't. No 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 no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I can declare war right now if I if I can get there faster than the Milan guys. I mean, what's the fort level here? It's nothing. You're not allied to anybody. Um, everything would be fine. I'd be able to just walk in there, take it, grab it from Milan, and and have them. I don't need France to join in. France, you worry about your own situation, man. I'm worried about you, buddy. It's weird, I know, because at some point I'm going to hate you, but it's very... I, I'm going to try this. Um, oh, we are black flagged. I didn't think about that. Dang it. Well, we're going to have to try it. Uh, I'll send in the non-black flagged army at some point to switch them out, at least so now we're, we're standing here. Actually, we haven't begun the... Uh, we haven't begun the siege yet because we're black flagged. Oh my gosh, that could have been terrible. That could have been really, really bad. Okay, let's take you back. Okay, good. So this province is ours. Oh, we got lucky. We got extremely lucky that Milan decided to wait a bit there. Pisa is helping us out here a bit. Oh no, this is actually, actually Corsica. No, it's not Corsica. It is Corsica. Cool. Well, that was nice of them. Again, I'm worried because now I'm not sure. I guess I could always vassalize them if if I can't core them. If I can't core the state, then then I'll do that. Oh, and the Papal States declared war on Naples. And is that what Aragon... Wait a second. You're at war with Castile, and are you also at war with the Papal... Oh, so you are. Wow, Papal State, that's ballsy. The Pope is being ballsy in this game. It's crazy. They're very strong. Because you not only did you just declare war on Naples, you also declared war on Aragon. Now, that is surprising. That is really shocking. And look, I could roll over these guys. If I were to actually be able to core this land, these, these guys are nothing. There's a lot of little little guys in this region that I could just walk right over. Mantua, Ferrara, uh, Tuscany. I mean, I could just walk over these guys. Yes, let's, let's gank some military. And uh, actually, that would improve my relations with Burgundy a bit. Um, I don't know exactly if they're thinking. They're probably not thinking about declaring war on me anytime soon, but still... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I will not be able to... I might need to vassalize them. But wait a second. No, I've got a core in a... Yeah, no, I could core this, yes, because I, cause Nice is a core. And because I'm, I'm, they both share the same sea, it'll be fine. Because I know that for sure when I annex Corsica, I should be able to annex uh, or core a land here. Yeah, no, if it was one tile outside... If it was in one of these other things out this way, in a gulf or something like that, not in this specific sea tile, then I wouldn't have been able to do this. But I will. And we're also stopping Milan from getting any more powerful. Someone needs to go to war with these guys and uh, and have them annul their treaties. I'm wondering exactly, you know what, while I have... Oh, why are you losing? Why are you... Why? What's going on here? What is going on here? Proof relations... Annex. Oh, that's why we annexed the member of the HRE. Okay. Well, we need to uh, we need to improve relations with. Oh, let's get a royal marriage up. That'll help. Okay. And let's improve relations with uh, Austria also. How are we doing with uh, France? We feeling good? No, we could also improve relations with France a bit here too. Now, why aren't you uh, as high as it was before? I guess it's because my improved relationship had had gone down significantly. Fought to the end of the war, competing great power. We're not a great power. Come on, France. Don't think that way. That's just negative. Stop being negative. Okay, let's improve this, and uh, that'll be good. I think I think I just need to make sure I keep uh, my diplomats always doing something. My diplomats need to constantly be doing something to keep my relationships high. Uh, so, how is Burgundy doing? Now they're starting to win that war against Scotland. Okay. Okay, well, that's good to know. Papal State's opinion of Savoy's lowered. I think I'll just go ahead and do that. I don't know if I want... Uh, I don't know. I mean, let's see what we got. Okay, so we, we finished that there. Now we can peace out with uh, we can peace out with these guys if we want. We'll wait for their boat to be destroyed, I guess. How much aggressive expansion will this cost us? And would it be better if I waited until 1461 for just a little bit more to tick down? It might be. 
Yeah, you know, it might be, because I've got a lot of, Oh, wow, Switzerland is really not happy with me. I don't think I'm going to get too much aggressive expansion for just taking one province here, but I am completely annexing a, 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 small, a small nation. I don't know how Genoa gave me military access. I've got negative 27 aggressive expansion with those guys. Uh, Aragon's kind of pissed off at me. The Pope's pretty pissed off at me. Yeah, I, I'm just, just for safety. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till uh, 1461, just to play it as safe as possible. Oh, so you're also at war with Pisa. Okay, so... Wait a second. No, you're not. Oh, you're, you're trying to unsiege that. Okay, I was confused there. So yeah, no, you aren't going to get any power from this at all. Well, this is a big moment. Okay. So let's uh, wait for the end of the end of the year. And there it is. Auto-saving. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's ask for someone to come back. Let's go ahead and ask for the dip the diplomat from France to come back. We, we need that one with Austria. All right, so uh, if I take you, I'm only going to get... Oh, that's not bad. Ooh. With Siena, Tuscany, Milan, as long as... Oh, Genoa's going to get some, too. Genoa's pretty... It's pretty high with Genoa, too, but I, I got it. We got to try it. I can I can grab some money, which I love. I love being able to grab their money, and uh, if we were... Again, if, if I was their rival, then I could humiliate them, but uh, I cannot do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Let's go ahead and uh, send the demand over. If I if 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 it, if it doesn't work, I can just make it a vassal. Pretty sure I can just call it to be to be a vassal. So yeah, we can core it. There it goes. That's what I thought. 126. Look at that. That that's ridiculous. That is insane. Absolutely ridiculous. Provincial separatists, possibly uprising. I might need to uh, maybe throw some military at that. Uh, kind of bump it down a bit there. It's at 70. percent It's quite high. Okay, there we go. Now I'm with everybody. Uh, slowly getting closer and closer to being able to annex Corsica. How's everyone feeling? Let's check in on the on the on the crowd. Genoa's not happy. Milan is not happy. <laughs> Pretty much everyone in Italy is pissed off at me. Switzerland is not happy either. Okay, I, I really really need to cool it. I, I've got to cool it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh jeez. Aragon, please kick the Pope's ass. You're not. You're not kicking the Pope's ass at all. It looks like Naples is getting their ass kicked. Well, that's too bad. Because we're going to come into... The Pope seems like they're going to be the big rival here. Also, Venice. Who is Venice allied to? The Knights in France. Oh. Oh, the Knights in France. Whoa. Okay. So, yeah, that's scary. Again, we're allied to the only nations that can really ruin this campaign for me. So, I think, I think everything will be okay for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this Aragon? So Aragon's been sieging out, like, your northern stuff here. Like, it looks like you've been going after the forts that are just north of the Iberian Peninsula. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, make sure that this guy is protecting trade in the Genoa node. So, um, do I have both of my... Yeah, I do have both my merchants out there. Now, what, what's one of my... I, I'm, I'm assuming that they're both steering trade. They better be. But where are they? So we've got one here. Okay, that's perfect. That's a smart idea. Transferring trade to the Genoa node. Uh, now, where's the other one at? I should have checked this, obviously, a really long time ago, but I've been lagging it. And you're sending it down. Hmm. Yeah, the, actually, you're sending a lot of it down south there. That's a smart That's a smart idea. Because I'm sure... Because the, the English Channel and uh, Iberia is only going to get more and more uh, profitable. As soon as, you know, col colonies and colonial nations begin to form. And I'm, I actually wouldn't be surprised if... So Portugal actually doesn't have a colonial nation just yet. Not yet, but I'm sure that'll that'll happen soon. Uh, yeah, we need to cool it, though. Although, again, I'm not super worried about a coalition. Because my allies, assuming my allies join. If my allies don't join, then yeah, I'm, I'm pretty freaked out of a coalition. Um, but that's... Assuming my allies join... We should be okay. It also depends on how big the coalition actually is. Okay, let's uh, let's go for some men at arms. Only because since I am Savoy and I have access to those mountains, I mean, playing a defensive kind of game here in the northern part of, of Savoy lands would be very fun. Too bad we're not going to go after Switzerland. And also, this is I've got a screwed. I probably screwed my relationship with the emperor. Not really. Not really. So. Just annexing a member of the HRE isn't as bad as... No, I mean, well, a annexing a vassal is bad. Uh, it looks like it's not, like, taking taking a, a member of the HRE isn't that bad for some reason. 
But that annexation penalty, look at that, negative 20. And it's only going down by plus 1.4 yearly. So that's insane. Uh, you have a Casabella against me. Why is that? And how do you have that? Oh, well, because uh, I've been moving into, yeah, their lands. That makes sense. And the Pope is kicking Naples' ass. Man, the Pope is scary. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen an AI, an AI Papal State this strong. And I guess it makes sense because, I mean, they have gotten a lot stronger. They were given, I think it was just one extra province. But honestly, that makes the difference. France has declared war on Aragon. Wow, so Aragon's going to get their ass kicked. Aragon is currently getting their ass kicked, and that sucks so bad. Because I would love to go after Sardinia. But I, I can't right now. Yeah, I definitely cannot right now. Hmm. So I'm wondering, we probably need to think about getting another alliance up soon. Only because I think I, I'm a little bit worried if the Papal State were to declare war on me. And if they drag down someone like England, Milan, and... Well, Siena's not a big deal, but Milan and England would be difficult to kind of combat against military access France who or Venice whose side are you joining in on no you're against oh wait you're on France's side so I guess I'll give yeah I'll give you I'll accept it from Venice I'll also accept it from Naples and I'll accept it from France too just to keep our relationship high because I'm pretty sure yeah they allow us military access okay um yes yeah, so that's that's a good idea and, and where exactly is all are all these uh, diplomatic re reputations coming from? Are these gang the core? Okay, good. Yeah, where is this all coming from? So we have Corsica, France, Austria, Genoa. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's let's remove that because we don't need that anymore. We need we need certainly more. Uh, well, actually, do we want to sit someone there? If we don't have military, I'm gonna keep the military access with Genoa for now because more than likely they're never gonna give that to me again. I think they can cancel it though. But I, I might as well kind of wait it out and let them decide if they want to cancel it or not. If they don't want to cancel it, then I'll keep it. And perfect. Yes, I will get stability. We really need that. Because more than likely, we're going to get an event that uh, throws my stability away. Okay, so Aragon's doing good. Looks like, oh, wow. Uh, Castile had to release a uh, nation up this way. They're allied to Portugal, too. So more than likely, Portugal's going to vassalize up there. Port we're going to get a straight Portugal uh, in the western part of Iberia. Crazy. I love that looking Portugal. That Portugal looks beautiful, I think. How close are we? Still five more years until the annexation of, of Corsica. And again, I don't think we're going to be able to ever really... Uh-oh. King died. That's good. Heirs 323. Okay, yeah. So what we might want to do... I'm definitely going to kick this guy. Now, how much money are we making? I don't know if we can afford... A level two advisor into in military in the military category and actually let's see land maintenance modifier or a land force limit modifier let's do land let's kick this guy out of here for 17 ducats let's wait for another one to come in hopefully it's a level two but then i doubt it and i don't want to pay that much money to kick the level three advisor out of there that's so expensive he's not a level two dang it okay well let's just get the land force limit modifier i guess keep him there we're going to be suffering in, in the military category. That's just how it's going to be. Let's accept this. Ah, uh, those separatists. They're close. They're close to uprising. I might want to kick it down a notch. It only would cost me what? Yeah, it, it will probably for sure not happen. I don't want them to uprise. Actually, I don't mind if they uprise, though. More than likely, even if they uprise, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We just need to be able to run after it, though. That's going down to 4.5. If it gets to 90%, then maybe we'll think about it. At 90%, I would understand why we might need to. Um, friend, let's see where this is at. Oh, that's that's Burgundy again. We don't, we don't, hey, nobody got time for that. We we are not going to do that. And we are almost at our maximum manpower, which is good. So we ganged. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I just totally burped. How was that? Tell me, please. Tell me, please, that that was uh, the most unattractive thing you've ever seen. Wow, I've never seen a Tunis this broken. This is insane. And, and Morocco's also getting destroyed by uh, some of their own peasant uh, pretender rebels, I mean. Surprising. Wow, T Tunis, this is kind of awkward. It's an awkward situation. Serbia seems to be doing good since Albania doesn't automatically start off at war with the Ottomans. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm off to stop it right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.